Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Black Blood Magic. So in this particular episode we're going to see carry on from where we've been to. I've upgraded this also that's just behind me to tier 2. So I'm grinding some mods, mobs. Let's get on and carry on with that. What I'm doing at the moment is I need to upgrade this altar again with some better ruins on it. As you can see it's fairly good now. We've got um, tier 2 my lovely one hit weapon and of course I'm getting quite a lot of XP out of here as well so it's a very good thing so well, let's have a look at this what have we got in here now we need 8,000 I'm going to do another um, actually I've got enough now I've got reinforced slates um, I want some more normal slates I need to go back and get some more normal slates for that we'll just finish off this one and then we'll, then we'll come and upgrade this with the runes of sacrifice because I can do those the ones I can't do the self-sacrifice ones and I can't upgrade this altar until we've been to the nether um, what we can also do let's take these out here you see I'm getting a few bits and pieces from the drops uh, I'm keeping those just showing the, the rotting flesh in here so let's go upstairs Grant a few more while it's well, still here. I, I did actually make it dark because I hadn't made it completely dark in the mob in the mob spawner, so it wasn't spawning as fast as it should have been, which was my mistake. So what we need to do next is we need to create some ruins of sacrifice, and I also want to create some ruins of um, capacity, but I can't do that until we've got to tier three. And the next thing we can do is make another orb. So let's have a look at that. So this is the weak blood orb. So if we actually go and have a look at the orbs, the next one up is the apprentice blood orb, which is this one here. And the one after that's the magician's blood orb, which gets a bit difficult because you've got 25,000 LP in the tier three. But this one we can do. This is just 5,000 in a tier 2 altar. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use these reinforced slates to make some more um, useful stuff. Let's get rid of this. Don't need the armor on me at the moment, do I? So, so the next thing we can do is make some ruins of sacrifice. We need some gold for that and I make at least four. So we need eight pieces of gold like that. I did find some more gold when I was mining by the way. Um, and some iron when I was I was clearing out the mobs that were below and I found some gold uh, and I found some obsidian so we can go to the nether but first of all we'll just do these these ruins that we've got here so if I look for um, I need some ruins have I got enough oh, yes I made a bit of a mistake but well, that's no big deal we can take them from here I need four out of here uh, and then we'll replace them back again with the other ones. But I need a, I don't need a normal pickaxe. You need an iron pickaxe for this. I think you need. Oh no, it's all right. It's an. I thought we needed a higher range pickaxe for some of the stuff we got to break up. And these are the ones we're going to upgrade. Well, in fact, I can't get to that one, so I'll use this one. I haven't got any. I haven't got diet hoppers installed, so I can't get past the hoppers, which is probably a mistake to be honest with you. So let's have a look at the use of this. And what we can do is we can do this is a self-sacrifice one this is ruin of capacity which i'm going to be doing pretty soon to do the threat to get the next blood orb up but the ruin of sacrifice is the one i want so what are we missing oh, i need so first of all i need the apprentice blood orb uh, okay so we need a block of lapis for that i'll do that downstairs i only need nine don't i so we'll do a block of redstone put that into the into the altar below in fact let's have a look over here it, I don't think this has got enough blood in it at the moment it's probably not very far away no it's a long way away right I'll just go down to the other altar and I'll see so here we are of course this is now going to take um, 4,000 LP out of this as you can see also this tells you it's tier 2 well, that's, while, I, while I'm waiting for this to go through, we're going to basically grind a few of these mobs. We've also got the 255.6 um, will that we need for the next tier of these uh, Titanic, Tartaric gems. I think the uses of that one, see, so we can actually make bows and things like this. So there's a sentient bow as well. Um, but the one I think we need to make is this one 
for a common tartaric gem but we need an imbued slate which is again is tier 3 so that's the next concentration of this thing well so while that's going on let's just turn that into a blood orb now let's take this blood orb out of here and right click it have we got enough health yes I have so it takes two hearts of damage that one so that's now my apprentice blood orb so with this one we can go and make hopefully I've got I haven't got enough stone with me or have I maybe I have actually let's have a look it's here I've got a crafting table uh, just up here so now we can have a look at doing this I think it was four needed so that would be two of those the apprentice blood orb um, reinforced slates and I think the rest is stone I'm missing something what am I missing um, the ruins of course they go in the middle so then we get this four ruins of sacrifice now what this does is it allows the um, altar to work give you more XP or LP from the uh, from the mobs so, so before, I'll have to clear them off because otherwise it doesn't take too long zombies actually have damaged zombie oh yeah baby zombies get damaged down here but I'm not quite sure why So while that's doing that, I have to dig up these two blocks here. Where's my iron pick? There. And the one I have to replace is this one. So I've got to be careful when I do this one. Because it'll let mobs go out. So let's just swap these two over like this. And wait for those two mobs. Next one. Now I've got time before that comes. Let's break this one away and put that down th there. Good. So then we can put... I should have the other... Yes. Blank ruins. I should have those here. Did I only make one? Alright. I'm not sure I did then. No, I made four. Oh, yeah, that's that makes sense. That's the fourth one. So, again, I've got the same problem. I can't go into that one. So, I just dig out these three here, like that. We don't need to worry at the moment. This becomes a, a reduced. Uh, tier altar because the tier one and the tier two don't take have any more capacity anyway. Uh, where have you gone to? I need this one. Let's put that one down in the corners. You can't you can't have this at the moment. Try again. You can't have these in the moment where you want them to be. So that's the fourth one. That's correct. Yeah. So now this is going to be a lot fast. It's going to have a lot. Oh, missed it, didn't I? Try again. This is going to have, and it's going to, going to have more even with one. So let's get rid of these guys. So now we need some stone, which I haven't got with me. I haven't got anything to, to do actually. Right, I'll have to go and get some stone. Come back in a second. So I've got some. I've already done ten slates. The reason I've done this, so this is empty at the moment. The altar's empty, and so we can now test this. One hit on that one. We'll fill this up by how much? 666 that's gonna buy about 200 per mob so that's 10 zombies let's have a look so that should be 6600 <laughs> it is that's good that'll be 10,000 I guess oh, 900 not quite yet I must have miscounted now that's our 10,000. We can put another 10 stone into here. And that'll make another. And what I need to do the next level of ultra is I need another 20 runes. And I'm also going to need a capacity ruin. So for the capacity ruin is what we need is have a look at um, rune. It's this one. Rune of capacity. Uh, there's a very good reason for that because of the you need to get to the master blood orb we need those so we basically need uh, 20 of these so i need 20 imbued slates 20 blank runes so, so i need 40 so i need 60 slates before i start and then these need to go through twice so i shall see you in a few minutes when all of this is prepared 
Nearly finished. Now I've got 35 plus these to be another 10. One trick here you actually want this takes 10,000 LP. So with 10,000 LP, what that basically means is I now put an orb in here. So I can start grinding mobs again and this will start to charge up my network or my L my network. And you'll notice that when I do that, the speed that this is going up at is incredible. I, it's about 18 mobs and it's full. And you can see the backlog of mobs in here. This has probably got 10,000 LP in it already. Yep. And it's starting to charge up the network. So if I right click an empty space, we've still got 2,500 now. And this is slowly going down. But this is so fast. It'll be back to 10,000 again, as you can see. This is really effective. I'm surprised. And I'm just standing here. You can see there's a queue of mobs waiting to get ground. <laughs> lucky things aren't they um, so this stores the life essence this is what I'm gathering here the next thing we need to do now is to I've got enough stuff to to do everything I want I've got 55 blank slates and 16 reinforced slates so we need to go now and make some more uh, go to the nether so let's go and I'll see you in a few seconds when I just before I spawn the thing so uh, the portal See you in a second. Well, I'm ready, I think. I've got, what have I got here? I've got some gravel, I've got some cobblestone, and I've got a flint and steel, and I've got a chest to put stuff in when I get there. So let's just light this up. And I probably should have put some blocks down here, but let's go in and see what we get. So I've got my uh, I've sent an, uh, sentient axe. Now that's just exactly the same recipe as a standard sword. Um, with titanic tartaric gems uh made up so where have we appeared so look oh a gas i've got to get out of his way unfortunately i am on oh I actually got me bows with me haven't i let's use my mending bow here not too too high oh that was a good shot if it if it drops the gas here and well away Yeah, it looks like I've dropped, he's dropped a gas tier over there. Fortunately, I'm on soul sand. Well, that's good too. There we have a gas tier. Look at that. Now, that's also an essential item for blood magic. I'm glad I found one of those straight away. So that we can actually, I've got a, I've also got a, uh, an iron shovel. One of the mobs dropped, so we can, we can dig up some of this as well. But what the idea is, of course, I've got to go back to my portal because I haven't marked it down yet. <laughs> There it is, straight ahead of me. Oh, another gas, goodness. Oops. I'm trying to shoot him with a fish. <laughs> Let's go back here behind here, and you can start shooting at the soul sand. You won't be able to get him from there, as you will. Oops, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. I did actually put some, make some iron armour. See, when I came the first time I did this, I didn't see any gas at all. There he is, look. Oh, I'm on fire. Bad, 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 bad. I need to eat. Let's get some eating food. Oops, respawn. Oh dear. <coughs> all right, <coughs> back in a minute. <laughs> see, these are, I actually kept my two bows to lost the arrows. I didn't do very well with that ghast. Anyway, let's go back into the nether and uh, pick up my my little grave and carry on again. I should be alright with what I've got, actually. I should be able to get it. It wasn't very far away. But it's a bit of a nuisance being on soul sand, unfortunately. One of these has got infinity, infinity on it, and I don't need any arrows for infinity. Which is the one I need. That one. It's the second one down. Oops. That one. Oops, I must have shot. Oh dear, I'm going in trouble now. <laughs> Let's go into. Oh, my portal's gone. And it's and, and it's been all oh, right. Okay. <sighs> Where's my mouse gone to? So, I need need a new flint and steel. Fortunately, I've got another one. I didn't do very well <laughs> at all, did I? That's all, which, which one's got which? So I'll put the first one as the infinity one. Goodness me, those gas are a bit of a nuisance today. Hardly ever, hardly ever meet any gas at all in another when I'm doing it. So there we are. I like a flint and steel. 
I go back again. <laughs> <clears throat> This time, I'm going to get that ghast if it, I'm not going to say if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> oh, there's a mob down here. It'll be a zombie pigman. It probably might still be angered with me if he isn't. Thank you. What's he dropped? Check the recipe. Oh, it is actually lit here, so that's all right. I should be able to light the other one up in that case if it's not. Oh, it's no, it's... it's Oops, I've forgotten about these guys. <laughs> oh dear, right. This time I'm going to do the same thing again. Well, this is a bad start, isn't it? Now, let's have a look. I want some blocks. Let's just put some blocks down. And maybe I should wait a few seconds and come back again when, I, when they've quietened down. I think I have to wait about 40 seconds. <sighs> So I've got a few graves to pick up. I'm going to try anyway. If it fails, I'm going to go and do that. So I'm going to give it a break for a few seconds and we'll see how we get on. Oops. Ah! <laughs> right, I shall be back in a few seconds when everything's quiet and down. See you in a second. <laughs> well, I died a few times. <laughs> I'm a bit confused now. There's a few grave markers down there. And I've got two portals. I'm not quite sure why. So we can get rid of a few of these guys while we're here. I think the others are hiding underneath here somewhere. I've seen some more. But for some reason or other, I've got two portals. Don't ask me why. Now, have I got any blocks on me? Yes, I've got some granite. That's great. So let's put some blocks down. Ah, uh, protect the... Why have I got... I'm not quite sure why I've got two portals. Let's put that one there, yes. It'll do. So we can should be able to build up around here for some stuff. If I go down here, block... It's three blocks high, isn't it, this thing? So where are all the other mobs gone to? I don't think they're too angered with me at the moment. Let's just try that one down here. Have I got a pickaxe? <laughs> That's all that grave. I think that one only has a gravestone in it, doesn't it? Have I got... No, I haven't got a pickaxe with me. What's that down there? Oh, that'll be the flint and steel. That's more blocks. Let's just pick that one down there. This is probably the main grave. Oh, no, that's not the main grave. <laughs> uh, Tell you what we'll do, we'll just carry on building the walls around here a bit more, protecting it a bit. But I do need a pickaxe though. If I don't, then I've got a bit of trouble getting out of here. Where have we got over here? Well, have I put a block on the gra my original grave? Still confused as to why I've got two portals. I'll pick up a bit of XP while I'm here. They don't seem to be angered anymore. So, right. Tell you what I'll do now. I'm going to uh, have to call this a bit of a stop until I've sort of fixed everything. <laughs> Found my original grave. And I'll see you in a short while. Well. <laughs> I'm back again. Uh, I've managed to not find my original grave, which is a bit strange. Uh, I'm, I'm a, bit, a bit puzzled by that, but anyway, I've got two portals, no grave. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Must have been a glitch. But I have got a little bit of revenge back on another ghast. 
this one gave me another tip and two gunpowder which is actually also quite useful so I'm just protecting the rest of this base up a bit uh, have I got any more blocks yes I got 43 anthracite that's good and the site that's a bit of a shame about that because I've lost my two tart tartaric gems Right, good. And a few other bits and pieces. So I've got this, as I said, I've got two portals here and I don't quite know why. Let's put this down here. It's a bit of a mess, so I have to be honest with you. <laughs> An extreme mess, but there we are. So there's quite a few death points just around here, which, but I'm not sure which is the earliest one. Let's have a look at that. Let's, we can find out which is the earliest one by going here. So this is the one, oh, it's 30 meters away. So let's just edit that one and change the color to yellow so we can go and find it. The rest of them I can probably forget about because I picked all those up. So where is it now? It's down there so anyway I didn't intend to do this on the episode but since I'm messaged up I suppose it's not a bad idea to where are we over there we do need to get this stuff back again because there's a chest in here I wanted to put the flint and steel in there that's right I hid myself behind a here we go, that's the original grave. Let's put the flame out and let's get this stuff. Yeah, I've got so much done up, I should be alright. Probably got too much stuff anyway. Because uh, I made some more armour. So let's just get rid of some stuff until we get the chest back again. Um, there we are, the chest. Let's just dirt. I do want, possibly want the boots. Let's put the chest down. wood I don't need let's just tell you what let's get back and put this into the into the base as you can see it's a real mess <laughs> yes interesting design <laughs> now of course I can't get into here I have to go around the other side let's put the chest down here and we can put some stuff into that. Let's get rid of some stuff that we don't really need with us. Probably better to keep some of the stuff. I actually do want these two these two gems because they actually improve the damage on these two weapons. Got my milk food, we've got food now. That'll do fine. I'll take this food with me and put this in the chest. Two gas tears, which is a good start. One more piece of and the door. That's what I wanted to do. Let's just see if I can get the door. Where are we? It's the best place. I think the best place will be over this side. Since I've sort of covered you all up and more than I wanted to. So let's just break this down here. And here. And then put a doorway in here, I think. Yeah, that'll do for a doorway, won't it? Let's just put the other side back here and here, and then cover up this with another block. Well, what I want to do is go, I'm going to go and get that glowstone over there. So I'll go and get that glowstone, and it'll come back. <laughs> See you in a while. Well, that was a very eventful trip to the Nether, but I did get the glowstone I needed. Forty, I basically, I've got enough for to make at least two altars on this so I want four out of these I'll take four because we need the next level up we need to build the, the next tier altar which we need some glowstone for um, I've got another gas that came along and I had to make sure they dropped a tier and, and that was basically I think everything so next time we're going to have a do upgrade the altar to tier five I've got everything prepared now um, tier 3, sorry, not tier 5, that's a long way ahead. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to see if we can get the Master Blood Orb. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>